Hey guys, welcome back to Cruise Blog. This is Allie, and today we're going to be talking about six things that I liked better on MSC Cruises than Royal Caribbean. Let's get into it. I've been lucky enough to travel on some fantastic cruise ships, and up until this last voyage, they were all with Royal Caribbean. Just this summer, I got to experience the cruise line's newest vessel, Wonder of the Seas, which is the largest cruise ship in the world. My family and I toured the Mediterranean on a truly memorable vacation. So having said that, I really wasn't sure how MSC Cruises would live up to some of my previous cruise experiences. I recently sailed on MSC Seashore on a Western Caribbean tour visiting MSC's private island in the Bahamas and some other popular cruise ports. And as it turns out, there are a lot of things to love about an MSC cruise. And in fact, there were a few things that I even liked better than Royal Caribbean. So let's get into it. First, the European flair. Although a Swiss company, MSC has strong Italian roots. In fact, the Aponte family, who still actively manages the MSC conglomerate, can trace the family's entry into maritime commerce as far back as 1675 in the region of Sorrento, Italy, which is known for its seafaring activities. Given this legacy, it's not surprising to find so many European traditions infused into various aspects of the cruise experience. One of the biggest things that I noticed, and probably the most important, was the food. I enjoyed signature Italian culinary delights, including a wide range of gelatos. Another favorite of mine was the freshly made pasta on Italian night, which was incredibly flavorful and topped with a tasty savory sauce. Continuing on the food theme, because it's a cruise after all, the quality of bread and pastry products was outstanding. I purchased a dining package before my cruise and I sampled a number of food venues while on board. Even the main buffet has an excellent selection of bread and pastry products that were super tasty. Getting the right level level of flakiness in bakery products can be tough, and I was very impressed overall, especially when you consider it's all done at sea. There were a few things that stood out to me as well, like the steamed milk for coffee, something that I don't get to experience much at home, but was a staple on the ship. Although Royal Caribbean has great food, I would give extra credit for these special touches from MSC. Next is the Ocean Key MSC Marine Reserve. Don't get me wrong, I would take either of these private islands in a heartbeat as I've had a wonderful time on both. They are, however, very different. A lot of this boils down to personal preference. Perfect Day at Coco Key offers slides and pools, a lot more of the traditional resort and water park amenities, and we definitely enjoyed the fun activities when we last visited. Ocean Key, on the flip side, was originally an industrial site that's been given a new life by MSC. It has more of a quiet paradise feel with plenty of open space. MSC has done an excellent job of making making you feel like you've just stumbled upon an island in the Bahamas that's been lost in time. I loved the colorful Bahaman-style buildings, including the lighthouse. As a kid, I was fortunate to visit the Bahamas with my grandparents. This was back when there was hardly any high-rise hotels on the beach, and it was pre-Atlantis, which was a glorious time. The downtown area was vibrant, and the people won my heart with their friendliness, and this is what Ocean Key feels like to me. Although not all the nighttime activities are back post-COVID, the Junkanoo Parade was special for me. I loved seeing Bahaman culture on display in such a special manner. I've been lucky enough to attend Junkanoo events many years ago in Nassau, and although it was on a smaller scale, it was really great. Next is the open air dining and added deck space. Although this is perhaps more specific to the MSC Seaside class of ships, they're designed to take advantage of the sun. And I was enamored with the many options to eat and relax outside. Even the main buffet has some areas with open air where you can eat, which is surprisingly not crowded. So maybe we should keep that our secret. Grabbing a coffee or some food and heading outside to the back of the ship are among the best ways to start the day. This also extended to some of the other venues like the sports bar, a specialty dining restaurant like Butcher's Cut, a steakhouse, and in addition on deck 8 there's a series of smaller decks where the areas were also not busy. Even on sea days I was finding little hidden gems where there were maybe 8 or 10 chairs and I could just relax in an unsuspecting area. Next are the package prices. Being familiar with Royal Caribbean's package prices, which go on sale often, I was in the habit of checking MSC's prices often in case a great deal would show up. But the price of internet, excursions, and dining packages remained the same in the couple of months prior to my cruise. There were no flash promotions and no sales. Royal Caribbean does allow its customers to cancel and rebook excursions and packages if they see a lower price, but I really liked the ease of having one price and not worrying about getting a better deal. In the current travel environment, there are many things to plan for, so it was nice to have one item complete and checked off my to-do list. This may not be an issue for some people, especially for those who love the thrill of a good deal, but I was happy to not have to worry about it. 
Next is the MSC Foundation. It may seem like an odd choice to consider, but I really appreciate that MSC is putting its philanthropy endeavors at the forefront of its foundation. According to its website, this is a nonprofit organization that was established to lead, focus, and advance the MSC Group's conservation and humanitarian commitments. I do believe that cruise ships in general have a bad rap regarding their environmental practices, despite the many advancements that they're making. It's great to see how cruise lines are improving and getting back to their communities. In full disclosure, I have read all kinds of great things that Royal Caribbean has done as well, including disaster relief for post-hurricane areas. On MSC Seashore, I found the designated MSC Foundation area, where they provide an overview of their initiatives, mission, etc. Additionally, they sell merchandise with proceeds that go towards their initiatives, and they even provide a form in your cabin so you can make an easy donation. While visiting Ocean Key, they have a dedicated retail space with MSC Foundation branded products that you can buy in support of their cause. Seeing how they transformed the island from a previously industrial site to a beautiful, flourishing island was wonderful. And next, the extensive itineraries. As I look ahead to my next MSC cruise, I've spent some time reviewing the vast array of destinations that MSC Cruises sails to. Now, while Royal Caribbean does an excellent job of serving the Caribbean, Alaska, and Europe, this topic is a close call. But looking at MSC's list, they cover far and wide. While on my recent cruise on MSC, I was chatting with a crew member one evening. He mentioned that the ship was heading to Brazil in the fall and cruising through the winter. A cruise to South America definitely appeals to me. MSC also sails to Egypt, the Red Sea, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and Qatar. In fact, MSC Cruises actually sent its brand new MSC World Europa to Qatar for the FIFA 2022 World Soccer Tournament. And while Royal Caribbean does sail to the South Pacific and Alaska, I think MSC covers some new, highly interesting destinations, which would be ideal for exploring via cruise ship. For me, this includes a number of bucket list destinations like South America, South Africa, and the Middle East. All right, everybody, those are the six things that I liked better on my MSC cruise compared to Royal Caribbean. Comment below if you agree with me on any of these or perhaps some things that you like better about MSC cruises as well. Thanks for tuning in today, everybody, and be sure to like and subscribe to Cruise Blog so you can be notified every time we have a new video. Until next time, happy cruising.